Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are now in the module 8 in ICT and entrepreneurship in PLE6. Module 8 uses audio and video conferencing tools to share ideas and work with others online. This is based on the Unified Supplementary Learning Materials, also known as USLEM. And here is the expectation. At the end of the SLEM, you should be able to 1. Define audio video conferencing. 2. Identify the different audio video conferencing tools and application. 3. Uses audio and video conferencing tools to share ideas and work with others online. Of course, before we go on to the lesson proper, you have to take the pretest. Direction. Answer the under. Arrange the jumbled letters to form the correct answer in each item. Write your answer on the space provided. This time, please write your answers in your TLE6 notebook and pause this video while answering the pretest or this slide. Once you are done, you may now resume the video. And this is the second part of the pretest. Again, you may now pause the video while answering. Let us now check your work. Please be honest in checking your work. Here's the key to correction. So, number one, a meeting to discuss a topic is called conference. Two, the most popular voice and chat application that can be used also in audio video conferencing, Skype. Three, an electronic communication that connects computer networks and access different websites, internet. Four, one of the largest social networks that works to interact with other people, Facebook. Five, a program used to locate different websites, internet browser. Six, a major device used by online user to communicate with another online user is called personal computer. Seven, is a meeting among participants in different locations that typically uses computer networks to transmit both audio text and video data is called video conference. Eight, this offers video call with up to 10 friends aside from its other exciting features, Google Hangouts. Nine is a meeting among three or more persons in different locations that typically uses handheld wild, wired telephones, speaker phones, or mobile phones is called audio conference. Number 10, a wide range of online tools that uses different software is called audio video conferencing tools. So what's your score? Please comment down below. Let us have a quick review of uh, our last lesson. So the direction to label the parts of Microsoft Excel window, select word from the term list. So to give you a big picture of the environment of the Microsoft Excel, Please refer to this slide. So now you may pause the video while answering. And once you are done, you may, not, you may resume the video. Are you ready to check? So here is the key to correction. So the first part of the exam is the tab number two is the name box three is the formula bar number four is the cell five worksheet and number six those are the scroll bars so what's your score
So let's begin with module 8. In dealing with other people, constant communication is inevitable when advanced technologies have contributed to making communication easier and faster through online services. Audio conferencing is one of the online communication tools used by two or more people who are interconnected using computer networks to transmit audio and video data with the internet user. Audio video conferencing services enable people to communicate, share ideas, and bring people together at different sites. So here are the audio video conferencing applications that we can use. We have here the Skype. It's an IP telecommunications application that provides free video chat and voice calls between subscribers and low-cost calling to people who do not use the service. So kapag outside the Skype na yung tatawagan nyo, dapat meron kayong load. Kasi kapag outside the Skype, meron ng bayad. We also have here the Viber. It's the free, simple, fast, and most secure messaging and calling application and allow the users to send images, video, and audio media messages. And Zoom is the leader in modern enterprise video communications with an easy, reliable cloud platform for video and audio conferencing. Pero sa atin, ang gamit natin ay Google Meet. We also have here Facebook. It's one of the largest social networks that works to interact with other people where they can construct profiles, share information such as photos and videos about themselves, and respond or link the, to the information posted by others. So sa ngayon, halos lahat na ng tao ay may Facebook kasi uh, it is also part of our daily life. Lalo na ngayon na pandemic, dyan tayo kumukuha ng balita, ng information sa iba. We also have here the WeChat. It's a Chinese multi-purpose messaging, social media, and mobile payment app developed by Tencent. So those are the audio video conferencing application. Now for your activity. Activity 1, you must identify and form. So, so the first image is this one. It is an IP telecommunications application that provides free video chat and voice calls. Please write your answer in your notebook. The second one is this one. It's the free, simple, fast, and most secure messaging and calling application. Ano kaya yan? The third one is this one. It's one of the largest social networks that works to interact with other people where they can share photos and videos. And the last picture is a Chinese app that developed by Tencent with multi-purpose messaging, social media, and mobile payment. Now you are done. Let us check your work. So the first one or the first picture is Skype. It is an IP telecommunications application that provides free video, chat, and voice calls. Two is Viber. It's the free, simple, fast, and most secure messaging and calling application. Third is Facebook. It's one of the largest social networks that works to interact with other people where they can share photos and videos. And the last one is WeChat, a Chinese app that developed by Tencent with multi-purpose messaging, social media, and mobile payment. So let's have another activity two. Activity two, halika, usap tayo. So anong gagawin? Making a group video call using Facebook or video conferencing. So first is to go to your browser and log in to www.facebook.com and click the messenger icon at the top of the screen 
Then, number three, open a conversation with the person or people you may want to video chat with. Kasi baka mamaya tawagan nyo yung taong ayaw naman kayong kausap, bababaan lang kayo. Number four, click the video call icon in the top right corner of the chat window. And number five, click the video call bot button. And to end this call, or to end the call, click the end call button. And number seven, as you go along with your conver conversation, you must enjoy talking with that person. So before we end this, I would like to give you some reminders. So audio video conferencing, also called as teleconference or web conference, is an online meeting where two or more people can see hear and talk to each other using computer networks to send audio and video data via the internet in real time. Ibig sabihin live. Skype, Viber, Facebook, Breeze, and other examples of software of audio video conferencing can be found in Wikipedia. Personal computers with internet access, browser, speaker, microphones, and webcam are the technological requirements for the use of audio video conferencing. So checking your understanding, you complete me. Direction, hunt for the right answer in the box below to complete the sentence. So yan yung pagpipilian. So please screenshot this slide so you can proceed with the questions later on. Okay. So here are the questions. Again, this time, please write down your answers in your TLE6 notebook. And once you are done, you pause this video. And once you are done, you may continue uh, watching this video. This time, please pause, pause this video and start answering. Now you are done, let us proceed with the next slide or the continuation of this activity. You may now pause this video and start answering the second part. Now that you are done, let us check your work. So number one. Teleconference is where two or more persons are interconnected to each other using their personal computers over the internet. It is also called conferencing. Two, personal computer is a major device used by people to communicate. Three, one of the largest social networks used by many people in sharing information such as photos and videos about themselves is called Facebook. Four, is used for instant messaging, sharing photos, videos, audio recordings, and for group chats is called Viber. Number five, a global wide area network that connects computer system, systems across the world, it is called the internet. Six, an application used to access and view websites, it is called internet browser. Oh my God, I got the wrong spelling. It's browser, no W before the S and E R. So discussion. Seven, discussion for conference meeting should be formal. Eight, a wide range of audio and video online tools. It is called audio video conferencing tools. Nine, a popular platform used by corporations and schools in holding a meeting, it is called Google Meet. Sa iba, Zoom. 10. Skype is a software application over the internet that allows users to make voice and audio video calls. So, the answer here is audio and video calls. And for your quiz number 8 or your post test, please type in the link that you can see on your screen or scan the QR code that you can see on your screen. And you may also access your post test by clicking the link on the description below. 
Should you have any questions or clarifications, feel free to comment down below. That's all for this video. I'll see you again in my next video. Stay safe and goodbye.